choked me. Take that to the court. Don't open that closet. Well, Noelle's mother, Larissa, says her 14-year-old daughter is a beautiful disaster who she cannot control. She says Noelle constantly breaks the rules, brings drugs into the house, and even worse, has stolen her car, backed it straight into a neighbor's mailbox. Now, Noelle's stepfather, Sean, says the chaos in the house has become so unbearable that he packed up and left, not once, but twice. Oh, so this is the new rule now? Again, again, you have made me out to be a monster. You're an idiot. My 14-year-old daughter, Noelle, is a beautiful disaster. It's always my fault. But she engages in completely self-destructive behaviors. You're gonna go sit on the floor and cry like a little My stepdaughter, Noelle, is very unruly. There's no respect for any type of authority. Get out of my room. A home life with Noelle is hell. I'm done. So she calls me a, a psychopath. A you sit there and call me a in front of my clients. On no planet should a child speak to their mother that way. When Noelle's upset, she loses focus of everything. We're going to take a break right now. She can be flailing hands everywhere and scream, run around. And everyone wants to antagonize me, but as soon as I speak, I produce something about it. I've categorized Noelle's behavior into three different categories. The angry monster. In pictures of me. Oh no. Because then you do it with the last time you ever seen me. The sad teddy bear. I know it's not my fault, but like, it's it hurts so much whenever she makes it out to me. Then you got the jokester trickster. I made out to be the person. Things really unraveled about three years ago. She started sleepwalking in the middle of the night. She got in my car one day and started banging her head, saying that the voice was telling her to hurt herself. I took her to a therapist and they told me that I had to put her into a mental facility. After that, the patterns of behavior have just gotten worse and worse. It's not an all week thing, it's a daily thing. She took alcohol to school in her coffee. She got caught with Xanax in the bathroom. Stepping out onto the roof and smoking pot. There was marijuana in here. It's weed. It's weed. Genius. She posted a video of her friend taking her clothes off online. She stole my car and wrecked it. We took her car and we hit a mailbox. It was the middle of the night. I was just like, let's go on a joyride. What was I thinking? She got in the passenger side because the videos all show her friend driving, but they were all drinking and they backed it into a brick mailbox. Noelle has been in and out of different facilities. Four or five different therapists. We, she's changed schools four or five times. We've gone through two or three different psychiatrists. Disciplining Noelle doesn't work. She has no remorse, no empathy for anything. The only thing that she even cares about is the phone. My biggest fear is that this is never gonna end. I'm scared for her. She could end up dead. I could be burying her. Okay, it's good to meet both of you. You think that she is to the point of being impulsive enough, self-destructive enough, that she could wind up really hurting herself or somebody else, right? I do, yes sir. Okay, and your questions are whether or not this is secondary to some mental illness or if she's just obstinate, behavioral, out of control, right? You, what is your thinking about that? What do you think? My thinking is black and white, and it's hard to work in gray. And men, mental illness to me is kind of a gray area for myself. Uh -huh. And I, that's where I want to know. I, I want to know 